Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Uh, uh, honorable uh, Chancellor of this uh, university, dear, very distinguished uh, authorities, uh, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm really honored to be here. I can speak in Latin, on the, in, uh, also because your Italian is absolutely better than my English, congratulations. <laughs> but uh, I prefer uh, speaking with the first expression, abari. <laughs> okay, yes, I have the abari okay. We spent three hours to verify if the <laughs> answer. <laughs> It's really a privilege and pleasure for me to have the opportunity to address uh, this uh, audience, this prestigious audience. As you know, maybe yesterday I was in uh, Addis Ababa for uh, an important uh, international meeting uh, at a crucial time for the negotiation on the development agenda that will bring us beyond uh, 2015. Addis, uh, Abeba was a step uh, bringing us closer to the future the international, of international cooperation. For me, it was a very particular moment because um, I start with my little uh, political experience as a young boy, Boy Scout, as uh, you, Baden Powell uh, teach us, uh, exactly in the moment in which the uh, international community discussed about Millennium Development Goal in 2000. You remember the great jubilee of 2000, uh, the, ten, the, 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 the real important question of debt, and also the Millennium Development Goal uh, with the presence of uh, great politicians, but also personalities of uh, music, uh, of a star, of a uh, movie, who gave the message uh, Millennium Development Goal was a very important uh, achievement for everyone. 15 years ago, we are in a crucial moment to build these new Millennium Development Goals and new ideas of the future. But this is not simply the first reason why I am here today. Because today for me it's more important than negotiation of Millennium Development Goal. Because it's correct, Millennium Development Goal is great challenge for us, because to talk about future. But stay here for me means talk uh, with the future, to the future. The politicians are the present. But the real challenge for uh, this country, this continent, this planet, is invest in a new generation against all the generation of the past. And you, dear students, you are the new leader. I don't know if you become leader in your country, in the United Nations, in the organi international organization, but you could be a leader in the ability to create a new vision for the world. And this is my first wish for everyone. Maybe you use uh, the social media as uh, everyone around the world. Maybe you use uh, Facebook or other social media. Maybe you use Twitter. In Twitter, we are everyone followers. My wish for you is uh, you become a leader, not only a follower. This is not a polemic against Twitter, let me be clear. <laughs> but it's a message. You can lead your life and your country your continent in a new dimension for the future. You are the future stakeholders of all decisions that our governments take. And uh, this is important for me, not because uh, I have to refuse the responsibility of this leadership, my leadership and older leadership. I also believe it's very important for us uh, to provide uh, the, the, the hope of the generation and we work in this direction with a strong determination. Uh, the, the prospect of better condition than uh, one of your father's uh, life, the trove, is a great challenge for uh, 
this leadership. And democratic leaders consider this moment one of the most important moments in the history of humanity. But I can assure you, we play with all the determination in this play, in this role. But and our challenge is exactly to give you a better way, a better possibility. And this job is a great job, but we need the clear message. The word is your word. You are the, not only the possibility to build a perspective for the future, but you can invest in your leadership, not in politics, not in uh, uh, institutions, maybe also in politics and institutions, but in the life day by day. And this is the reason for the which I offer you a statement, a quote uh, of a great man who came from my city in the past, who came from my city in the past, is Dante Alighieri, was Dante Alighieri, 80th century ago. Dante was maybe the most important uh, man in the building culture, in the construction of culture of our, my country. Dante wrote Divina Commedia, and uh, in, uh, and not only, in a very particular moment uh, of uh, Divina Commedia, he spoke about uh, a great man, the Greek economy, but not only to discuss about Greek economy, but to remember what is Europe today. My grandfathers fought against the grandfathers of French men or French women. Now, for my children, the only fight possible is the Champions League. <laughs> and for my, my, my son, for my daughter, it's impossible to believe my grandfather was in war against France, against Germany. The place of Erasmus, the program for the students, of exchange of students, the place of a trip with a low cost companies every, every week. So the world changed, but in this moment there are a lot of new challenges. Because if my grandfather fights, fought against uh, the grandfather of my colleague in France, now there is the possibility of write a new page of history. But the problem of Europe today is uh, this message uh, will be not only about economic values. What is happened last week in uh, Europe institutions, it's a clear message. If an organization stay together only for economic values, this institution risks risks a lot, because it's impossible to stay together only for economic values. We need some more important than economic values. The expression value is, more, is, is bigger than expression money. And this is the reason for the which, from Europe, from uh, uh, Iran, from Libya, from uh, Addis Ababa yesterday, I arrived to Central Point of my speech, the university is the place in which you can create a new world, not the building of power, not simply the institutions, but the place in which we can share the knowledge, the values, the ideals. This is the point. This is the place. You are responsible. So, I think it is absolutely important uh, you face in front of uh, the problems of our world uh, with strong determination as a politician. But I think the universities could be the place in which we build a different approach. And for that, the first, risk, the first challenge, the first commitment is study, study, study. Not is easy in this world. 
as politicians, we have the responsibility to simplify the message, to reduce to 140 characters the complicated message of uh, foreign politics. It's a must. We have to necessity to reduce the message, to simplify. But to become leader and not follower, there are not important 104 characters. It's important your character, your approach, and your ability to study and to don't consider the great problem of this uh, period of history as a, with an easy answer. It's not easy to understand the reason of a relation between uh, ideals and uh, democracy in the Mediterranean area after the Arabian Springs. A lot of people judged five years ago Arabian Spring in uh, Mediterranean and the Middle East as uh, a new page of history. Now we saw the ISIS advance, the terrorist attacks are a part of answers to this new world. So it's not easy to have a clear message. And this is important also in this country, in my country, in every country. What is the strategy from Far East to South America in a moment in which the things change very deeply and very quickly. You must study. You must accept the position of find, not simply a compromise between two different positions, but a strategy, a new strategy around the world. The second, believe in your country. Believe in your continent. Italy today is a bridge. It's a bridge, uh, geographically, is a bridge uh, from a lot of years. <laughs> because uh, it's a bridge between Europe and Africa. The geographic conformation of Italy showed that. But I think uh, the strategy of our government is to create a bridge between the Euro, Euro area and Europe institution and Africa. It's not easy, because uh, for a lot of years, entrepreneurs, cultural men, politicians, believe Africa only the place of development uh, support, international cooperation. Let me be very clear. I have a special thanks to the people, men and women, who work for international cooperation, international development in this country and in the other countries. They use a great courage and a great patience and a great ideals to find, to build a different world here and in other countries. So it's absolutely important to continue in this direction. And uh, when I was uh, last month in June in G7 table I was very sad because after 10 years of mistakes by also by my government by the government of my country we reduce the presence on ODA and in the table of G7 Italy was a seven on seven, not a great uh, result. I choose. I make a, a very important uh, commitment. And in the next G7 in Italy, will be in 2017, Italy will be four in this ranking. Because we come back to invest in international development. International development. But please, and we have a lot of things together to Kenya, and we discussed also this morning with the President Kenyatta about it. But please, Africa is not only the place of international cooperation. Please, Africa is a great 
possibility for the next world. Africa and Kenya economy is one of the demonstration grow up if finally we invest in a different approach. Africa is rich of uh, materials, of products, of quality, but Ebola is rich of values. And if the next world will be the world of values, you are in pole position to create a new strategy. So it's important to continue in the ODA. It's important to continue in international development. It's important to fight against poverty. But the reason, the real reason for the which I believe Africa will be crucial in the debate also in Europe is because I'm sure in the next 20 years when we will be also politicians, also culture, professor, a people uh, leader in every, in every case, when in the next 25 years we will build a different world in which Africa will be the leader and not only follower. This is the reason for the which I try as Italian government to create a bridge, this expression of the, 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 the conference, bridge. Italian economy is very able to build a bridge because we have a great uh, experience of engineering dam. We, we sign a very important dam today in uh, uh, State House. Uh, we have a great uh, experience in infrastructure, so we believe a lot in the infrastructure as a great opportunity to invest in a new in your world, but I believe today is important a bridge, not physical bridge, ideal bridge between Europe and Africa. And our mission is exactly that, create this bridge. To create this bridge, we combine together the present and the future. Just to make an example, a terrible example for me, the migration question. In my government, in my country, in my parliament, there are a lot of polemics for the approach of Italian government to migration. We discussed a lot also in the European institutions. Because there are a part of people who consider a mistake to continue to save life in the herds of Mediterranean. The reason for uh, those guys is that if we continue to save, this is a pull factor. And the people will continue to risk the life in the sea. You know, the problem uh, who come from uh, Eritrea decided to leave Eritrea, not because read Italian newspapers and uh, follow the Italian public debate. They escaped from this situ from uh, their situation. They risk the life a lot of times, above all in the, in the desert, in the Sudan, in Libya. When they arrive and the uh, Italian government receive uh, 91% of migrants from the coasts of Libya, but the first nationality is Eritrea, not uh, Libyan. The second is Somalia. When we receive these people, obviously there is the debate, because a part of my public opinion said, ah, it's impossible to continue to save. We save human lives and we continue to save human lives on the sea, we try, because we believe in human values, because we belong to human race, and because nothing, no poles could refuse century of civilization and values and ideals for my country. I, I feel the responsibility to represent a country of values. And so if there is a man who risks the life, if there is a woman who risks the life, we try to save. 
Then there is the problem. What is the strategy for the future? Continue to risk on the sea? Obviously, the real challenge is fight poverty in their country. We built a different approach in the African regions, in the African countries. But this is the symbol of a necessity to bring together the present and the future. If really I won't stop this uh, risk, I must build a different world in the region of origin. But for the moment, for the moment, the question could be used for a demagogic approach. This is a symbol. Obviously, we can transform the mentality of uh, European people about it. When I was mayor, I was very happy because uh, I decided, well, I was mayor of the very beautiful city, Florence, and uh, um, this is the symbol of crisis. In Florence, in the past, uh, there were Machiavelli, Michelangelo, Leonardo, and then I became mayor. This is a symbol of decline <laughs> and of the crisis. Please, not applause, eh? this is uh, <laughs> When I was mayor, I used uh, my mobile to uh, fight the very important problem in my city, the people who doesn't pay the ticket uh, in the buses. I was very proud for that, eh? because uh, it's a great challenge. The problem uh, in a city uh, are obviously the great ideals and the great problems, but also very concrete the holes in the roads, the cleanliness on the streets, and obviously the people who decide don't pay the ticket in the bus. When I present this uh, great innovation first in Italy, okay, we can pay, finally, the ticket with the mobile. 95% of journalists present in press conference for the first time, use expression very positive. Oh, great, finally, it's a great idea. Good idea, good Mr. Mayor. Only one journalist, 5%, told me, excuse me, Mr. Mayor, this is not an innovation. If you stay in Kenya, there is a technology, technological innovation, Mpesa, for example, <laughs> who is very better than you. Because you pay the ticket for the bus, okay? But in Kenya, with Mpesa, uh, you can pay not only the buses, but also a lot of things. So, I ate your country in that moment. Uh, <laughs> because uh, I, I, I'm really happy for the results uh, of uh, my administration. And I was uh, quickly uh, destroyed. Uh, by this journalist. But this example is important for me to give a message. The technology could be a great asset for you. So it's important to continue to ODA and International Development Cooperation and we increase the money on this field. But at the same time, you have the possibility using the brain, using the innovation, to come back with more determination than the other parts around the world. And I think this is exactly, this is exactly the great challenge today. We live in an interconnected world in which no region is an island. Your challenges and our challenges and your achievement are our achievements. We live in a global society in which all you need is a simple device, such as a mobile phone to connect to a web, and the relation to span of thousands of kilometers and different cultures. But the problem is nobody could supply the physical relation. I'm very happy for two million of people who follow me on Twitter, or for 80,000 people who is, are my friends on Facebook. But for my quality of life, the problem is maintain my real friends, the friends of my 
past who are fortunately the friends of my present and I'm sure also my future. Because uh, the new world offer a lot of opportunities to be friends of 80,000 people around the world, two million on Twitter. But you can use those opportunities with the traditional values. This is the point. And this is the point for the which universities are more important than uh, political powers to build a new world. Obviously, the decision was in the parliament, will be in the parliament also for the future. This is a value. But I think if you use uh, universities, a place in which uh, link together education, culture, and development, today we can build a different world stronger than the past. So I think this is the symbol for the which they attacked a university. They attacked a museum because they know where is our strong power. Is the university, is in the culture, is in our identity. And I think for this reason, the next challenge of our cooperation between governments and uh, between people is obviously support the projects uh, for NGO, especially in the sanitation and the rural development sector, but and uh, obviously continue in the Kenya Italy debt for development program, obviously to encourage the bilateral relation. I think the great possibility in uh, renewable energies, in the uh, innovation technologies in the new strategies for the future of this country. But the most important thing is invest in the new generation. And let me be very clear, particularly in the women generation. It's not a question regarding only Africa. My country for the first time decided to invest in a government with the great presence of all women. Some women today in Italy are the leader of uh, most important public companies, the president of ENI, of ENL, our uh, poste, our women. But the problem is not simply the role of responsibilities, it's the message fight against the attacks to women around the world. Every day, I think about the young girls in the hands of Boko Haram in Nigeria. Every day, we think about the problems of a lot of women around the world, but also at the same time invest in a different, a different world in which uh, the women role could be crucial to create a different approach. So let me conclude. The world around us it's a great world. Twenty-five years ago, the president of the United States use uh, could access to less information to um, students of university of uh, Nairobi today if you use mobile today you have more information you have potentially more information than the president of the United States 25 years ago it's incredible huh? it's really incredible but it's true the problem is not the information the problem is the ability to read those information, to use the intelligence and the brain to choice the information, to use your intelligence and the quality to invest in a different way. The problem is not the technical instrument. The problem is the ability of human beings to be able to use technical instruments.
For this reason, the education is the key for the future. The universities are the frontiers, not the borders, the frontiers. There is a difference in Italian language between frontiers and borders. Borders block, frontiers open. The new frontiers are the possibility to build a different strategy for the future. But we need a different way for the people who try to change the world. And uh, I think if we will be able to use those information, those new technologies, to try to maintain the values of the past with uh, a new approach for the future, we'll be, we'll be honest with our history. The history of my country is a great history. Not only for the ancient Rome or for the Renaissance, but for the contribution to the history of the world, of the great spirit of the past, the great uh, uh, painters, the great uh, sculptors, the great uh, architects, the great philosophers, a lot of people lived in Italy to have in Italy the opportunity to use the brain to change the world. Now it's time for you. But because you are able to be that, you must choose between fair and courage. Nelson Mandela, in the speech on the occasion of the Youth Day in 1996 in Petersburg, in the 20th anniversary of the uh, Soweto uprising, 1976, said a great uh, expression. This nation owes you a clear policy and practical measures to ensure that youth contributes to and benefits from our new democracy. The working youth is critical to our future. You have the energy to lead the nation. Only as a united youth and united people shall we be able to reconstruct our land and create an environment where there shall be a better life for all. Heroism is required in even greater measure today. The area is to build, to learn, to improve skills and unite the nation. The future is in your hands. Build it of hard work today. When I explain to my children the history of Nelson Mandela, they don't believe me. It was a very particular moment, not very ideal. Before the championship in the soccer 2010 in South Africa, reading a publication, a publishing about the soccer team, the soccer match, my first boy said, who is that man, Nelson Mandela? And uh, I had the great opportunity to shake an hand with Mandela when I was mayor. So I gave an answer very emotional to my children. It's a great man. He spent 27 years of life in a prison for an ideal, for a fight. The reaction of my children. 27 years in jail for an idea. It's a film, it's a movie. <laughs> no, no, please, don't smile. I smile as you, obviously. Don't smile. The new generation, don't believe possible that. And our responsibility is give an education. It's possible to risk the life for an ideal. But the quote of this great man is not remember the past, not try a revenge, not try to give an answer to the people who 
decide for 27 years uh, to left him in the jail. No. He's given a message of hope for the future. He gave a possibility to hands of young people, young people. My dear friends, I think this is uh, also the message who come from Garissa. Your colleagues <coughs> are died. But the responsibility today is in your hands. The responsibility to create a new world focused on the ideal of values and courage is in your hands. The choice is between fear and courage. The choice is between revenge and hope. And I think today is time for everyone to build a different world. But to build a different world, the only way is to maintain in our hearts the past and build the future. And so, be brave and think big. Don't left this life in the hands of the people who believe in the terror. Invest in the future, invest in the education, invest in university. Thank you so much.